So the big question, Lyme disease tests giving false uh, uh, negatives, okay? So a patient actually has the infections or the tick-borne illnesses or whatever the co-infections are that are being tested and they come back negative. One of the number one reasons that that occurs is because their immune system is too weak to respond. In the current methodologies of testing, basically you're looking for, like in Western blot, ELISA, et cetera, you're looking for an immune system response, antigen, so to speak. And so most patients are too sick for their responses. And so they need some sort of provoking of the immune system, even to get some good initial testing. But the exciting thing is, is we're moving to a whole new era of testing where we can literally very soon be able to see the genomic information of the infection in the bloodstream, in the urine, in the mucus of the, you know, whatever we're testing in the body, and we can actually quantify that. And there's no argument because if you're holding the, you know, RNA of an organism in your body, it doesn't belong there. And if you can quantify that, that tells you a whole lot about what infection is predominant in the patient. So we are moving into an exciting era where we pinpoint the diagnostics and then we can treat and then we can watch the improvement over time, which we have not been able to do. And that's why so many patients are confused. And so on the conventional sides, doctors will say, oh, chronic Lyme disease doesn't exist. Well, you can't refute data and you can't refute science. If the genetics of another organism are in your body, they don't belong there. And if you can quantify them, you can tell how much of it is present and then you can go from there. So clinically, laboratory testing has been very difficult in the area of Lyme disease, but it's getting a whole lot better and a lot more exciting for patients to really dial down what do they really have because it mimics so many symptoms. It can be so confusing. It's so nice to know what infection is present and better yet, how to target treat that to help improve the patient.